Welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total War Carthage Campaign, episode the 88th, with me, Squawker. And when we left off, we'd faced off a huge sort of, yeah, actually, no, a pretty large invasion of Corralis. The Scipii were throwing everything they had, except what they had wasn't very good, and now what they have left is running away. But they definitely did beat the snot out of Corralis, as to say. Uh, right now, we're currently reeling and retraining, however... It does leave the security and the future of his settlement in doubt. Mainly because of a big death cloud of brutey eye ships which now lurks She's in the area. Ready. Admiral Labradasir, though, is kindly dropping off reinforcements to Corrales, while ready Admiral Abdashum, I'm going to send him back to Parma for repairs. And yeah, really, Navy is the name of the game today, though we are going to be beginning our march against. Well, the Gauls, really. And actually, one thing I am asking is, where the hell did my elephants get to? Well, they're over here right now. Admiral Pharaoh is now two turns away from dropping our elephants off. So the deadline is a looming now for Desi dropping off our our troops. So, Captain Charmendius, I will now ask you to go to Oscar, just so then we can send these slingers on their way. And yeah, we've got things moving towards Oscar. We're going to send off our second attack, and we're going to defeat Limonum. Um... And yeah, we've got things to do with Africa, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a lot of things to do. We're just going to get right into it today. So, I do suspect there is a Brutii attack inbound against Tingi. I've sent an army out basically to meet it. And if we can push it back far enough, we're going to basically take a pop shot at taking over taking over Demidi. Though it's not too likely because I am lacking elite infantry in this army. But at the same time, it's a good army. It should be enough to maybe slow down any Brutii heading my way. Surtur as well is now at a point where I am definitely now thinking it is high time we got moving again. If we could get rid of Julianus Pilatius' army, which has just stood here being in the way, I think we could definitely move to take, well, not take, liberate Carthage. And that would put us in, the, in a very good position as we would now have all of North, well, all of the very north of Africa under control. We still have the rest of North Africa to grab. And we can't grab all of it because obviously Egypt's in the way. But we are getting to that position now where we could take the majority stake of this area and basically have our old lands back. And then we can start gnawing away at what the Bruti I own. Fapsus is at the minute, though, in a process of having some public order issues. Luckily, the people are beginning to get out of their system. And I am, being in, I am drafting additional town watch in order to keep the people calm. Um, but apart from that, there isn't really too much left to do this turn. I do have Philosophia Ruschiado. He's on his way up to Condé Redon to scout out the goal strength. I have troops moving in on Oscar. I do have uh, Xenophani Zionis. He's out to kill rebels when more rebels are turning up. Captain Yuli's turned up now near Scalabis, but Scalabis could deal with that probably, not really. Uh, Captain Yuli has three mystery units, and I have just a bunch of town watch. I'm going to recommend bring an Iberian and bring a Skirmisher. And then I know I've just queued up units, by the way, people who like to monitor me on that. But yeah, I'm going to queue up two units and then we'll send out our amateurs to deal with Captain Yuli. Uh, as for this lovely little navy I've just built here, we're going to set we're going to set sail south just so we can go and start reinforcing. I am trying to build up a super navy of sorts. I am at the point where I'm beginning to even... Well, actually do have a Queen Kareem. We're going to combine our Queen Kareem with Captain Bodmil Car over here. And actually, and we're actually going to have two Queen Kareems. So with two Queen Kareems, we should probably dominate the local naval scene at this point. So we are we are going to do some good things. But I am going to disband these barbarian mercs, by the way, because right now they're just not really good for much. And I'm going to replace them with some sacred band. And yes, once again, I've queued units up. But two units of sacred band are going to be enough to take Carthage. Uh, and Fapsus is just going to have to hold steady for the minute. But we're, we're doing what we can. Actually, what temp? Oh, we're worshipping Tanit here. I would rather be worshipping Baal in Fapsus, but right now I'm not in that position where I can go around ripping down temples. So for now, I have to leave it be. Uh, but yeah, there isn't really anything left to do this turn. I've got troops moving in where they should be. Uh, diplomats and uh, assassins and spies, they're all where they should be, I believe. Um, actually, that is something we could check on before we before we leave this turn. By the way, Briarius is still ruling. He's knocking on now, but he's, he's still at it. Let's just double check on our agents. My so, eyes are yours. Baffy's a collar is currently in is currently in Corralis. He could move now, actually. Well, he's in Fabs. Let's see if we're going to be really accurate and picky over that. I'm going to have him monitor Carthage. Carthage is the next town I wish to take, so he's going to he's going to keep his eye on it, and we're going to monitor whether or not it's takeable. And it is very takeable, actually. Asinius Pertinax is guarding it. 
Uh, public card uh, is not brilliant though, so this place is also on the brink of rebellion, but it's probably because, once more, I mean, look, I had to install the sewers. The Romans just don't run towns very well, they just fucking run them into the ground. Guarding them is a unit of Triarii and Urban Coat, so if we can, if we can just knock this army out now, Carthage will fall very easily. Uh, so, that, so meanwhile, Philosophy and Rusticada, we know where he's going to. Boshman Chulu, he's, he's my assassin. He's done his uh, turn this turn, actually. Oh, no, he hasn't. Can't kill any of these guys. Oh, he ain't good enough yet. Right. Well, can you bop off a captain and actually get it right this time? What am I paying you for? Right. So that was a load of wasted time there. Right, um, other agents, let's just double check. So we have Himsful Sabratha, my diplomat. He's currently chilling out in Egypt. Not really too much for him to do, but I would like to maybe go and have a chat with Armenia you know, if that's at all possible, though there isn't really anything to do. There's Sidon, by the way. Sidon is I want. I've, I'm guessing Tyre wasn't in this game, but Sidon is one. also the... Actually, no... Uh, zoom in. But uh, Sidon is also a town of significant Carthaginian renown, or at least, you know, it's a town I want. Sidon was the Carthaginian capital. Oh, yeah, Tyre isn't in this game, right. Well, Sidon it is then, and if I've been calling it Tyre all this time, I feel, a, I feel a little bit ashamed, but yeah. Phoenicia, we want that. I don't care if it means having to plough through all of Egypt's empire, I want it. That's our end goal, though. We'll deal with them once we've dealt with the rest of this campaign. I'll have to build my empire up and then it'll be an almighty clash at the end of it. <coughs> also, let's just... Was it? Sire? Mr. Malaga is currently in Tribus Ghetto. He's off to talk to the Britannians for us. Mikaton is currently watching Capua for us. And Chiron Serta is currently planted in Limonum. But really, he doesn't... Oh, come on, Limonum. Right, we don't need you in Limonum anymore because... Uh, actually, will this army have something capable of taking down the gates? I best double check. Did I send for some artillery? I don't think I did. Uh, no, I did not send for any artillery. Um, right. Oh, by the way, get another queen. Actually, no, get some more sacred band going, by the way. Um, uh, Cordu, but right. Uh, I'm going to keep you in there, just in case, Ben. I know elephants have a chance of taking down gates, but I'd rather not use my elephants. Um, so, yeah. Everyone's where they should be right now. I'm going to just double check the settlements and then we're going to end this turn. So, Serta, doing something useful. Fapsus, yep. Tingi, yep. Corduba, you could also be doing some construction. Let's work on some cavalry stables so we can work towards getting sacred band cavalry at the end of the day. Um, because if we get access to those, then we can phase out long shield cavalry. Um, Nova, you can't do any construction yet because we are waiting on your growth. I'm going to cut your taxes as well just to encourage some additional growth. Uh, we're nearly halfway to getting cafe going over growing. Oscar, you are doing what you need to be doing as well. Numantia, good. Scalabis, good. Asturica, good. Martius, good. Parma, good. Corralis, good. Uh, Fapsus, yep, yep, we're done. Right, we're going to go to the next turn. We're going to see if there's any good, good battles occurring. Or bad battles, really. As in, a bad battle would be having the rest of the Brutii and Navy just absolutely de decimate me like they always do. Then again, was I going to... See, this is a dilemma. Because I know there's still Brutii lurking in Demidi, and I know they're actively plotting against me. Are we recruiting a spy here? If not, why are we not? Well, alright. I want a spy ready ASAP. Because I need to, I need to, de I need to ascertain what's going on down here. Because right now, I don't know what's going on down here. I can't I can't just full well match out a Serta without knowing, basically without knowing if I can, you know. I want to match out a Serta to take Carthage, but I can't just leave Serta undefended. The Bruti, I still have their eye on this settlement, so that's a dilemma of a day. Anyway, let's um, go to the next turn and see what we can do.
Out of moves, great lord. Don't you bloody dare. <laughs> Alright, I know I lost Fapsis, but what a pathetic assassin. Okay, Fapsis, I'll see you next turn, mate. But right now, uh, Admiral Abadisia, try and win this one because, god damn it, that Death Cloud is on the move. Average defeat. Okay, it's an average defeat, not a clear one. Please fuck off. Right, so the Brutii are fighting back. Seems despite my attempts to liberate the people, the people remain brainwashed by the Brutii. Not good. Also, yeah, hello there, Mr. Assassin. I hate you. But then again, you're not very good at your job. And the Brutii have brought, have drafted in, a, well, actually a pretty shit garrison. Bar two units. Praetorian cavalry, who just are very, well... What's about going meta, but from my experiences in multiplayer, Praetorian Cavalry just don't die. This, this is basically a giant unit to General's Bodyguard, and as we knew from the battle last episode, that doesn't bode well for us, so yeah. He's also just really going all out with the artillery, so this is a very unbalanced army, and I could probably take it on with what I have, Fire! even if it's a bit battered and bruised. Captain Antullus, on the other hand, actually his army might get wiped by me. Or I could just run run away, go north, and capture Carthage. But at the same time, I want Fapsus. I know there's an assassin lurking about. Right, can you assassinate the assassin? What's your chance of whop right whop him out, by the way? And I don't know Death stalks him, he's an assassin. Death always stalks assassins, but go and whop him out. Get rid of him because this is just annoying. Also the Skippy I seem to have given up at playing now. I think they're just sulking with that navy there. That is all they're really doing. But yeah, just take him out, finish him off, and then we should be in a better position. But yeah, I do want to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have another go at Fapsus. I'm going to really try and hold on to it. I may even have to do something I don't want to do, and that might be an extermination. That's really a last resort, but this is twice that's, this has happened now, where a town openly revolts and defects back to the Brutii, and oh, come on! It's, it's Day of the Crap Assassins, isn't it, right? Anyway, money lost, not good. Other faction, and that's what's up. Him, Himilco has been born. Carphophorus now drinks socially. Hamilcar Buller has a silk merchant. Kalis Karma, a priestess of Tanit. Gelmakar, a master smith. And Abdamilki Lixus has a quartermaster. Good, right. Orders. You are in a rock and a hard place right now, but I would honestly rather have you capture Fapsus. Uh, I know Captain Herennius has just landed, uh, but. We lack the artillery. I mean, I know I have Elvis, but we lack artillery. And I only have... I, have, oh, I don't know. There's a 48% chance to get these gates open. So it could be really worth going for it, if I'm honest. And maybe leaving Fapsus for a little longer. Carthage does have the advantage of being very close to Corralis as well for reinforcing purposes. But at the same time, it has extreme proximity to Lilibayum. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, by the way, it looks like it's time for me to get my payment next turn, which is good. By the way, Scalabus now has the Grand Bazaar, which means, you know, we can buy and sell everything. And Fapsus did build a temple to Tanit, so maybe the town will be a little bit more subdued when we retake it. Uh, by the way, Parma a Trium, Carthago Nova a Trium, Scalabus and Iberian Infantry, Serta a Quinquereem, and Nabo Martius a Trium. Fapsus did get some town militia out, but I think they joined my army anyway, and there's uh, some retraining there. Right, good. Right. Money's short, so we're going to have to prioritise our spending. One of it is going to, some of it is going to rebuilding the garrison of Corrales. Uh, meanwhile, up here, Admiral Pharaoh has arrived, so, right, if you want to drop off your elephants. All ashore. All ashore for the elephantes. Right. Captain Chai Series, I want you to make your way to Oscar. The final troops will be rendezvousing in just a turn time, and then we will be on our way to Lamonum. So, goody gumdrops, we're going to take some more territory off the Gauls. So, all of you, I want you just to go in and link up. We're just going to wait on these slingers, because I like having... Oh, God, it's going to be too tessy. Bloody slow-ass slingers, aren't they? Right. Admiral Yutapan, I want you to go and link up with Admiral Milcharim, and prepare for prepare for naval movements. Admiral Ferro. 
I did. I know I did defeat this Nervia Turnigo, so just go and get rid of him. Try not to lose. Thank you. Still prefer it if you'd sunk him, though, but oh well, I guess you tried. Alright, you make your way back to Oscar. Oscar will provide some retraining for you, except it can't because, yeah. Unless you did. Actually, I don't. Oh, we, we lost 10 men, but alright, we'll, we'll live. Uh, by the way, Oscar, I want you to focus on your growth. Growth's better. Right. Uh, do, 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 do. Abdushum, you need to make your way back to Bahama, though your path is a bit fraught with dangers. Abdusia, we need to get you out to Corrales now. So you can just drop off your remaining troops. And then you know what? We're going to have a pop at Augustus. What does Augustus have? It's a Queen Kareem, isn't it? But it's a damaged Queen Kareem. I think he'd still take you. I don't trust these Queen Kareems. Make your way back home. He can't retrain on ships, so all he's doing right now is just wasting his time, right? You two into Corrales to defend the area, or at least do it next turn. Uh, Milk Harem, you're holding position. Uh, meanwhile, over here, Bodmil Cart, you have a Queen Kareem now, and I think it's time we started to flex our muscles. Wipe out Admiral Luca. Right, clear victory here, nothing less. Good. Except he still runs away, but right. It's like playing. It's like playing a really annoying game of pool. This, if I'm honest, with all these snail combat. And will Timerson will re will join with our navy, and then we'll just basically have an unstoppable super navy, right? <sighs> right. Let's deal with our situation in Africa now. Carthaforus, continue your path towards Dimidi. We're gonna take Dimidi. End of. Oh, we're going to run into Aulus Ostorius. Hello, Aulus Ostorius. You have a very small army, by, according to this, and I would like to wipe you out. Because wiping out a Brutii always brings pleasure to me. So you're going down this turn. Uh, Karma, right. It's going to be a tough It's going to be a tough call, this. We all know it's going to be a tough call. Either we take Carthage and risk a large-scale Brutii attack and lots of insecurity... Or we take Fapsus, risk uh, getting smashed to death by lots of artillery, but at the same time we get Fapsus back and we can continue improving it. And the thing is, if we if we did this battle right now, we could win this turn and have Fapsus back. Carthage, we've got a 48% chance we could go right in and just take the town this turn. That's the difficulty. I'm going to. Go for Fapsus, so I think it's the better decision because I said so. But I think because once more, it's gonna be a case of reinforcements and the main army. If we Fire! are quick and also we just buff up our numbers with some Libyan mercenaries and a few new Midians, actually, I'm gonna use the skirmisher cavalry today. If we do this correctly. We can take out Lentulus's balanced army quickly. It's balanced but weak. And this army here, this garrison, while the Praetorian cavalry are going to be an absolute pain in the neck to deal with, that artillery won't be effective because if it's anything like the last Battle of Fapsus, it's just going to be really inefficiently used. And if also, if we're quick, and if the army is foolish, I could easily pull some cavalry into that artillery and wipe the lot out very quickly. Then we can get our elephants in, but we also need to wipe out this bacon. Um, and then, yeah. We're going to go for Fapsus. March your men into position and prepare for a fight. But we'll deal with you at the end of the episode. Save the best battle till last. It's how I keep you hanging, isn't it, my friends? Okay. Um... We're going to do this little skirmish first. A warm-up skirmish, because this is actually the first episode of Rome I've recorded this week. So I need a quick warm-up before we get to the main event. So, it's us against Aulus Ostorius. Let's find out what his army has, or is he going to chicken out of it? Oh, uh, he's running away into the desert. Oh, well, I hope the attrition isn't too bad for you. Are oh, we just going to chase him down? I could just go to the midi now, but you know what? Take him out. Oh, you can't do it this turn, can you? 
Stupid desert, right? Prepare for battle. Well, Ostarius might sound the distress signal anyway, so we might lure a few more Brutii out, and if it becomes a defensive battle, we might be able to win it, and then take out a lot of Brutii. By the way, oh yeah, I did have my spy on the move. Right, Serta. Uh, I'll belay that order of the spy then. He was just a very slow spy who I forgot about. You need to get your ass moving. Just get your get yourself down here so I can monitor. Once I know what, what's going on in Dimidi, then I can decide what I'm doing with Serta. Right. Well, I did say I wanted a warm-up battle, but it looks like I'm going to be denied my warm-up for today. So, we're going to jump right into it. We're going to try and retake Fapsus. So, Kalis Karma, I hope you're up for it because we've got to take out Captain Lentulus and then we've got to take out the, the resisting Fapsus garrison. Engage the enemy. Because they seem to be resistant and they seem to be ignoring the fact that this is a Carthaginian town and always will be. So, Kalis Karma, oh god, is that... Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten stars, my man! Okay, let's calm. If you die in this battle, I'm going to be devastated now. I've got a 10-star commander here. You know, even the clouds will change their flights now at the sound of his voice. And, you know, it's well-deserved. Kalis is a very, very, very good man. He's got, well, let's face it, he's just rocking up the traits here, you know. Courageous, loyal, sharp, talented, victor, attacker, commander, bloody, punisher, defender. Doesn't trust anyone, no. Oh, this is trusted scan, and he's also very, very watchful. Which is probably why that assassin couldn't do shit to him. Uh, what's a punisher, by the way? Additional unrest, but additional law. Right. Hmm. Maybe that's why we're having issues. Calm up. I'm going to work on your governing skills a bit later. You're a good commander, but you're not a good governor, are you? Anyway, this us against Lentulus and Tertius. Lentulus, let's face it, he lacks manpower. We could take him quickly. However, the elephants are going to have to sit this one out because of the artillery presence. But we'll take him out quickly, regroup, and then take out the army of Captain Marcellus, which is the one I'm concerned about. He's got a lot of anti-elephant gear in it. Got to take out those pigs, take out that artillery. But then once that's done, we're going to set the elephants loose against that Praetorian cavalry. And that should make them much less of an annoyance to deal with. So we'll fight this one on a battle map. And if it's the same map, then I'm going to use the same tactics, basically. I use that little forest as, to place my ambusher squad. All these units I want to keep in reserve, but I can keep them hidden and I can keep them safe. But an adversary is more hurt by desertion by slaughter. Let's hope many Romans will run away then, but only to get killed anyway. Now is the time for battle. Pull on your armor, grasp your shield and take up the blade. For our enemies, the sun has risen for the last time. Take up the sword, pull on your armor. We go to test our courage in the fires of battle. Right, men, you heard the orders. Let's get ready to test our courage. Right. Await my order. So, main army once more will deploy over there. Reinforcing army will be coming in from over here. I do have my nice little forest to hide ambush squad. But right, first things first, elephants. Let's just get you out of the way. There's a lot of things that you've got a lot of adversity today. So for now, I'm going to keep you in the corner of the battlefield and wait. Once the pigs and the artillery are gone, these guys will be free to descend and basically start begin their approach and then so on and so forth. I love their lovely flappy ears. Right. Um. Meanwhile, general, or at least let's actually start making a line. Iberian infantry, you will be the flanks today. You will be the flanks. Uh, you, well, not quite the flanks, but you know what I mean. Poenis, you are sort of the main line. You're going to go here. Sacred Band, you're the tougher units. You can take the more punishment. You're going to be the front front line. There we go. Slingers, you throw stones at things. You'll be the very, very front line. Libyans and Hoplites will be hiding there. These are my mercenary reserves. So you lot will be hiding. I'm going to group you up. Hoplites, I'm going to keep you hidden because you guys are basically a nice little reserve for me. Take you out of phalanx so you can hide for. There we go. Right, so mercenary squad will be hiding. Same will go for the Libyan spearmen. Since this enemy army over here is not bringing in any cavalry, these Libyan spearmen do not have a use yet. So they will just hide in the forest and wait for further orders. Right. Militia. 
you guys are really just numbers and additional and additional like stuff. I'm gonna hide you in this forest, but I'm gonna hide you a little closer. Should any wayward Romans come near you, do the right thing and slow them down. And um, then cavalry. So two squads of cavalry. So we'll have round my lap, long shield squad one over there. And then we'll have royal squad over here, which is just long shield and hammer. Well, careless. You guys will go up there. And then new Midian mercenaries. You guys are not going to be used in the main battle. You guys will go over here. It'll be your job to do some skirmishing, some Cantabrian circles. I'm going to have you distract and slow down that other army. That's going to—that's what I'm going to use you for. That's what I feel like skirmisher cavalry might be good for. Harassing and slowing down. Just basically being a pain in the ass. Anyway, that's my plan. Let's just put it into action. Right. The enemy have brought up more men. Send them to the afterlife. And he's already dispatched my cavalry over to begin their tactics. Meanwhile, the Romans have decided to deploy over here because they just know it's really annoying. So, men, let's get moving. I'm also going to start loosening up your formations as well, just because of the potential for things to go wrong. So, loose formation for the phalanxes. So, there we go. At least I think, I, I hope they're deploying loose. Sometimes units just don't listen when I give them orders. Right. You guys, I'm just going to ungroup you. I'm going to go into loose formation now. Do a loose phalanx. They're not listening. Okay, fine. Your funeral. Uh, Iberian infantry. I want you guys in loose formation now. And I want you to match like that. There we go. Right. So I've got this lot on their way over now. Pretty much everyone is on the move. Cavalry. Main cavalry squad. You're going to move over and try and do what you can. I'm concerned that artillery might be eyeing up our elephants. Sir, but right now nah, it's more interested in infantry. That's good. Right. General's Cavalry. Keep your eye over here. I might use you to also work in conjunction with the new Midian Cavalry to slow down the enemy. But Slingers, they're going to have first shot of the day. And the first shots of the day actually go into the enemy. Ooh, close. Loosen up your formation, lads. And begin opening fire. Balearics, go over there. Begin opening fire. Sacred Band, halt. The enemy's going to deploy over here. Ooh, dear. Not good. Right. Enemy's, enemy's taking chunks out of us. And the enemy's actually advancing forward very quickly. Iberian infantry, let's slow down our approach. Cavalry, we got the opportunity there. That artillery's vulnerable. One of you, pull onto the onagers. You, check your footing. Right. Ta target, the ta target the artillery. Right. Set Poenies, target the Principes. You lot, target the Principes. Slingers, you lot need to get out of there. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be that close to battle. So come on, come on, get out of there. Oh, just route, fine. Your funeral. Right. Balearic Slingers, I want you over there. Right, Numidians, what are we up to? Start harassing the peasants. Get them out of the field now. Right, meanwhile over here, things are going a little bit weird. Uh, right, Cavalry's done a good job, though. We just, we just wrecked that artillery. So, right, you lot... Take out the Velites. Don't let those Triarii get into you. That, whatever you do. Right. You lot. Pull into those Velites. Just take out the Velites. We've kept them missiles back at least. Right. How are we doing over here? Right. Sacred Band. Continue your push. You lot. Continue your push. Iberians. You can take on Hastati. So go for it. They're your level. There we go. Right. Those guys are crushed. They don't have a chance right now. Long shield cavalry, I don't I want you away from that engagement. Right now you are at risk of dealing with Triarii, and Triarii are just going to ruin you, aren't they? Yes they are. So just focus on plowing down everything that's weak. Give those sacred band a hand up. They're, they're, they're not in good numbers. So the Triarii wear themselves out doing stupid things. Right. How are we doing over here? The enemy is approaching. Right. Numidians, target that Praetorian cavalry. That artillery right. Hang on. He's retreating. Right. Chase him down. He's trying to get out of this one. Right. All units. Chase down. I mean, well, cavalry. Pull away. Just deal with... Oh, by the way, there goes him. Right. The Romans once more just prove themselves to be massive cowards. Right. Look, don't, don't even bother skirmishing right now, cavalry. Take, take, take them down. Just take down those peasants. 
taking them down by any means necessary. Take out those engineers as well. Just, just don't let, at least just don't let them get their artillery back. See that their artillery is wiped. That is all I ask. Just wipe that artillery out. They're going to leave it behind. Let them leave it behind. But they do not get a single, you know, without their artillery, this town will fall to a siege very quickly. And siege it I shall. Because these people do not deserve to hold on to a town they so, they so badly defend. Right. How are we doing over here? Right. It's just all on that last unit now. Units, pull in and, and give them a hand. Long shield cavalry, chase... Oh, there's those are three area, right? They're on the run. Uh, and again, uh, you know what? Chase them down. We'll, we'll have to... We'll just, you'll, we'll just have to take a hit for the team with them. But I want them gone. End of. Right, Poenis, just keep on holding. You've got reinforcements inbound. They're going to help you. Right. You lot, you've done a good job. I think too many Romans got away, but you've killed some of them at least. But those ah, repeating ballistas you have, eh? Right, don't let them have those. Those, those are gone. Sorry, but you're, you're not allowed to have those. Right, take them out. Take them out. They're going to fight back. They're going to try and fight back. Right, Numidians, pull out. Let the general finish him off now. He's going to try and retreat, but oh, he's going to retreat into his cavalry charge now. Right. They're gone. Right, how are we doing over here? Is he on? Ah, we've won. Good. Right, finish him off. Finish him off. We're going to take Fapsus back now. That's it. You've lost it. You're not allowed to have Fapsus if you, if you, just, if you just treat it like that. All units just pull on to him. Deal with him. That's, that's Faps has softened up once more. That was a nice savage kill there, you guys. Just didn't give a shit there. And that's how I'd like you to do it. I mean, look. You guys are going to get wrecked by Iberian infantry now. That is how tragic your life is. Just come on, Iberian infantry. Just come in. Knock them out. Oh, hang on. They're running away from the Iberian infantry. Oh, scared of Iberian infantry, are we? You can't win, guys. It's game over. All right, Iberians... Call it a day. Let the cavalry finish them off. There we go. A pleasant sight as well, just to see more Romans dying. Still, so, seems to be a bit of a renaissance in the use of these uh, pre-marine units. I must be. I must have already chewed through the best Rome has to offer. And there is nothing the enemy can do but run. Still, I'm not complaining. I'll take on whatever they have left. Anyway, Captain Lentulus got absolutely wiped. I had very few losses actually, so that was a good battle. And uh, Captain Herius had minor losses, I'll say, but he did lose a lot of his artillery, but let's face it, he didn't even make it to the battle. He he, he, he barely even qualifies for his participation award today. Uh, there's some stats by the way. Um, I'm not really going to go too into... Oh, oh actually, New Midian Mercy, 202 kills. Right, you guys were a worthy investment then. Good. Happy about that. Glorious victory! Still, right, victory is declared here. Karma, lay siege to Fapsus. We'll have that town back in a jiffy. And prepare some siege towers. Well, we're not allowed to sap this time around, so okay. Uh, prepare... Ooh, wow, numbers are getting a bit low on this army. I'll say three siege towers should be optimal, because that's also how many I can get in one turn, and I just want to do one. Uh, I would say go for ladders, but... It's going to be Siege Towers. I feel more confident in using Siege Towers, provided they're not the shit ones off Medieval 2. Right. Still, I'm not sure if I want to call that an episode now, because, yeah, I was hoping to just get Fapsus back right now. So, you know what? I think we'll do another turn. Even though there's nothing left to do this turn. So, we're going to jump to the next turn, and we're going to get ready to deal with Fapsus. So, yeah, I will see what the enemy response is. So, enemies, if you want to respond, now is the time to do so.
Hello, Britannians. You seem a little happier today, so perhaps this time you will give me that map information. I s no, I don't want to offer you tribute. Why would I want to pay you money, right? I would like map information. That is all I ask. We have nothing to offer in return, and we must turn you down. Why? Wow, my turn is taking ages, isn't it? Right, Captain Virifus, we do want to get rid of you because right now you are gumming up the trade. And I want to make more money out of Asturica. So your army sucks and I'm going to wipe you out. So say your prayers, me laddio. Because then I've got to take out your other friend. Using my anti-rebel police task force, basically. By the way, those who flee don't get power or glory. Victory is near at hand! If all do their duty, we will profit from today. Bend your backs to your tasks, and all will be well! Now set your minds to the task in hand. Mark your target, strike hard, leave the fallen, go forward with courage! Woo, courage and all of that jazz. Right, let's get ready, lads. So... Orders are now being awaited. So, General, General Cavalry, you're there. Units Other Cavalry, the you're here. Go Iberians, go you're at the front. Right, units get going. The enemy's waiting for you, so let's not delay them. You get one unit each, lads. One of you takes on the naked fanatics. One of you takes on the Iberian infantry. One of you takes on the peasants. Cavalry will support. will be delegated to deal with the... Uh, Dealing with the naked fanatics and also with dealing with the enemy general and peasants. Because if we wipe out those peasants quickly, we can just quickly trigger that good old mass route I love so much. So I'm going to start speeding the cavalry up as well. Just so they are in prime position because I suspect the naked fanatics might start moving units, soon. Move for they are fanatical units. Oh, I'm going to run back a little bit. Okay, so they see my cavalry moving up in as a threat, eh? That's fine, right, anyway. You deal with us. You deal with these guys. You deal with these guys. We each have your target marked now. So all I expect you to do is make your way forward and deal with your target. General's cavalry, you just keep skirting around. Get rid gotta get rid of that general. Once he goes down, we'll just cause chaos among their line. If you can call it that. It's not a well organized line as you can see. Very, very like, you know, higgledy piggledy bit annoying really I mean you know at least I make the effort with my lines I mean yeah that, that's actually very nice and straight it's a little higgledy piggledy I know but to be honest overall it's straighter than these guys so yeah I'm doing better right round shields I suggest you now begin speeding up because the enemy will is preparing to engage us or at least they're gonna run away no wait the naked fanatics are gonna get in there right fine looks like two of you are taking on the naked fanatics fine you get in there and provide some help like, don't, don't, like, wait around. Round shield cavalry, get in there and help out. Right. Meanwhile, general, plow through that, plow through them and just get there. Because, yeah. Looks like some of my Iberians are breaking up. Not brilliant, I know. Not brilliant at all. Right. Try and rally the men. Right. Round shield, deal, deal, just deal with the general's cavalry. They're, they're just going to get fanatical and just, like, run around and cause chaos. So, for now, oh, no, don't get magnetized. I hate it when that happens. Right, general unit, push towards the fanatics. Round shields will deal with the general. Oh dear, this is a bit. Of, this is going to pot a little bit, isn't it? I would have expected my Iberian infantry to hold a little longer. Right, I don't care about the general. He can escape for now. I have no major need to kill him right now. I only want to deal with those naked for that before they crush the rest of my Iberian infantry. Because that was annoying. You guys dropped the ball a little bit, didn't you? Except some of you are reforming, so some of you are doing the right thing. Right, well, you're going to get back in there and you don't have a choice about the matter. End of. Anyway, round shield cavalry, please don't ruin this one. Round shield cavalry, how did you do that? Like, how do you manage to extraordinarily ruin every charge you do? Come on. 
And I was, I was only praising you an episode ago, and now you're just trying to be terrible again. Come on. Get in there. Wipe them out. These guys are too busy just chasing something, so, you know. Just all of you, keep pushing onto them. Knock them all out. There we go. Come on, push them all down. Their horrible white spiky hair. That isn't really quite spiky. It's just weird hair. It's like hair that's halfway through being washed, really. Like shampoo hair. Right, anyway, the naked fanatics have noticed us, so they're going to just now join in the fight. But they are, well, they are dropping numbers like mad right now. Right, General, you be sneaky. Pull around the flank, except he, he's routing. Right, good. Right, one of you needs to go back and deal with those peasants who are just like, why are you two just looking at each other? Why can't you just kill each other already? Go on, just wipe them out. They're just peasants. Get in there and finish them. There we go. Would have expected you to take the initiative, lads. There's literally nothing stopping you. As right. Enemies, these men Finish them off. They are running from the battle in terror. See how many you can kill, lads. Actually, those guys did come back at the end of the day, but I still feel like they let me down. They routed too easily. Right. One of you deal with that final naked fanatic. Oh, it's, it's actually an idea in a well, deal with him. Right. Rest of you. Go deal with those peasants, except uh, he's going to catch up and deal with those peasants anyway. Those peasants haven't to hope in hell right now. They are going to get smushed. And I'm only killing them all because I like to inflate my kill numbers with my... Just to, you know, further inflate my ego. So there we go. Clear victory. Thank you very much. Right. Decent numbers. Could have been better. We'll deal with that next turn, though. What a fantastic background noise we've got going on, by the way, now. Right, so, while your ears now bleed, we've been put into battle against Captain Spurious, who is apparently going to win, except his army's a bit crap, so... We'll see how this one goes. Right, I honestly hope this noise does not continue. Can I save my game right now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to make a save right now, folks. So, uh, just two seconds, because this noise is going to get very irritating very quick. Oh, my God, my ears! Right, uh, just fight it out on the land map, battle map, and let's see if we get the noise or if we're going to have ears that function. Right, what do you have? Oh, a terrible army. No wonder you ran away. Right, let's try and win this one. Oh, thank God. Right. Hearing is restored. But we should also match divided and fight concentrated, which is what we might have to do for the enemy we doing that. Today is a day for brave deeds, so that our fame will be known from one end of the world to another. Wherever men admire courage, our names will be known. And remember this above all, the gods watch us today. Be sure they are not ashamed by your actions. Now advance! Yep. We're gonna make our name synonymous with courage. Because it's kind of alliterative anyway, you know. Courage, Carthaginian. Courageous Carthaginians, that's what we are. The courageous Carthaginians, right. Either way, in order to be known as the courageous Carthaginians, we must be courageous and not, w not well, we have to win the battle. Let's not lose it. However, I will. I'm going to deploy it a little further back today as a contingency for a possible retreat. We are fighting off a lot of enemies, and to be honest, they do outrank us, so... Let's not be too bold. We didn't really have a full intelligence read out of how strong the enemy's strength was around here, but I did take what I had available to me. I am preparing more as we speak in Tingi, so... Even if, even if we can't win this time. I'm going to knock some teeth out of the enemy and maybe take out a general while we're here. That would be the ideal outcome for us. So, uh, let's let's think about this. So, front line, as per usual, it's going to be all slingers. So, slingers, I want you over here and I want you ready to do your stuff. No skirmishing by the way, only skirmish when I give the order. Right, Iberians, you're the front line here. 
You're going to be in guarding formation, and you, you know what you're doing. Then, Libyan Spears, you're going to be my main, the main bulk of my force, really. So, I'm going to have two of you here. Two of you here. And, actually, we have even more slingers. Wow, I have a lot of slingers in this army, don't I? I feel like I might have, like, bollocked up the build of this army a little bit, but... Oh, well, plenty of slingers is going to take out plenty of men. Now, there are Archer Auxilia among the enemy army, so we have to be very careful with these elephants, but if my cavalry is up to it, we might be able to snipe some of some of the anti-elephant units out of the field, and if we can do that, that might be where our uh, opportunity to win might play in our advantage. Let's get some more Libyan spears at the back, by the way, just to fully consolidate our flanks, or at least sort of like this. It's, it's an attempt. And then... You guys, Libyan mercenaries, over there. Right. So it's my standard defensive box I've made. Uh, it's, it does have a weak front, I know, but if 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 the enemy targets the front, then I'll just have to either I'll close the flaps one way or another. But that's really the best I can come up with right now. So let's just try and win. The and there's the enemy the reinforcements. They right. Have reinforcements. As if numbers mattered. So they're spawning in quite close, and they do bring a lot of cavalry. But their army is very light. If we could just get rid of us, Archer Auxilia, quickly, I would be happy to bring the elephants into this battle. But it's also because those Archer Auxilia right now, they're close to the elephants. Like, not in the entire danger zone, but they could become a ver uh, they could become a big problem very soon. And the rest of the enemy army is approaching, and they do also have Archer Auxilia among their flank, among their well, not their flanks, but among their ranks. We need to take out all our Archer Auxilia. Those are dogs, by the way, so we don't have any pigs to worry about, at least. But there are two units of Archer Auxilia who must be taken down before before those elephants can be used to full effectiveness. So, cavalry, get ready to, to make a statement against the enemy. Meanwhile, elephants, I want you to pull to the back of this battle, battle line. I want to keep you out of this battle for as long as possible right now. Right, what's the enemy bringing forward first? Some new Midian mercenaries. They'll go down like cheese. I'm not in a, I'm not a wordsmith, am I? Right. Um, right. You take those guys out. Just just give them no quarter right now. The Starty, they'll they'll drop they'll drop easy as well. They they are gonna skirmish, yeah. It's alright, it's alright, let them skirmish. Because they'll skirmish too far, and then they'll get out of the protective range of those Velite gladiators who are watching us. It's alright, ignore them. Because they're ignoring us. Right, good. Good, right. The eggs are falling into place. He's going to try and link up with his mates, though. Um, but those Hastati are vulnerable. So, cavalry. Let's use our mobility and have some fun with the enemy. Take out those Archer Auxiliate, because they're the key unit to wipe out right now. Avoid the Hastati General. Carforus, I don't want you dying yet. And yes, I do. I know I have to keep looking up your name. I'm weak. Right, and you guys. Oh, dear. Velite Gladiators. They're good. That's not going to go well. Guys, try and pull away from the Velite Gladiators. You're not going to do well there. You're already dropping, like, you're dropping tons of morale just doing that. So, let's just try and keep yourself right. You, good job. Archer Auxiliate are gone. Elephants. Get in there and lend a hand, please. Right, slingers, meanwhile, what's going on over here? We've got an enemy... We've got some equitiers on the run, but except they're all getting wiped. So, right. Leave them be for now. Right. Just wipe out that enemy general. He's... he's I mean, seriously, the best... Out, well, the best outcome is victory. But the good outcome, or the minimum outcome I want to achieve is... That! There we go. Minimum outcome achieved. Good. Right. Cavalry pull out. The elephants will deal with them for you. Elephants, begin your approach. Where's the rest of us at? Trox here, by the way. Oh, look, they're just, they're just begging to be killed right now. Guys, the Artrox has got a suicide note. Sign it. Or at least, oh dear, right. Alright, the enemies knows what I'm up to. Cavalry, retreat to our line. We'll deal with the enemy soon. Slingers. Target the Archer Auxilia. Or at least whoever can target. Alright, you know what? Stop. Right, you have to get some volleys out or you're going to have to run. Right, you guys to the back. You guys pull to the other rear flank. The Archer Auxilia is going to try and be slippery right now. But elephants, I want you to try and get towards those Velite Gladiators. That's what I want you to do. 
Early legendary cohorts right now are targeting my cavalry. Fine. Let them do that. That's keeping them away right now. But where is that Archer Auxilia? I need to keep my, I need to keep a very, very close eye on their position. Right now they're over there. Right. You two, knock out this Astarte now. Just get rid of that. That's just one big old unit of cavalry and some Roman cavalry is coming to join the fight. Right. Libyan Spearman, let's open up. Let's get in there and, and lend a hand. Right. Meanwhile, over here, you're dealing with Velite Gladiators and Auxilia. Oh, right, Libyan Spearman, open up, lend a hand. You lot, I hope you're, I hope you're pl providing plenty of javelins. Right, elephants, where are my elephants? Elephants are doing a fantastic job right now, but those Archer Auxilia, they have their. Well, actually, they're ignoring you right now, but yeah, we need to be very, very wary of what they're up to. But right now, we've pushed that general back. Right, cavalry. Don't worry about the auxilia because right now they're loosing off fire arrows. Not targeting the elephants yet, but let's face it, they're getting ready. So try. So one of you tie up those archer auxilia and make them go silent. Slingers, get in that flank, wipe them out. And my generals are right. Oh dear. No excuses can be made for fleeing like this. Here's me being all tactical, and the rest of my army just runs away. Right, men, pull out. Call it a day. Not exact. Oh dear. Not good. Elephants, get out of there. You're gonna zer. Oh dear. They're having a tantrum. Except it's all over the enemy, so I'm happy about that. Fine. Elephants, have your little tantrum. Get it out. Oh dear. The general has sacrificed himself. But will this bring victory? Or cause your men to turn and run? We didn't sacrifice. He's more like just took off off his horse. Right. All units need to be out of this battle zone now. Get out, get out. Battle is lost, unfortunately. I think I made a few tactical... Actually, no, I'm not sure if I made... Ta I well, obviously I made some tactical errors if we fucking lost, but... I don't know. I felt like my tactics were solid. The execution, however, just did not go the way I envisioned it. Oh well. It's always another day. Right, Slingers, get out of there. Just get out. We'll let, the, we'll let the brutii I have this day. At least this reconnaissance has assessed their strength down here. It's not fantastic, but it's enough to make sure that I don't leave Surtur defenseless. And oh! How tragic. Good going, Berserk Elephants. See, I, I, there was a good reason not to kill them yet. Defeat is a bitter taste. Made all the worst when it is clearly a defeat. Still, that's the one time Berserking Elephants went in my favour because they absolutely knocked the enemy's stuffing out. A clear defeat, unfortunately, but half my men do escape to live another day. I'll pull them back to Tingi and we'll have to rethink our strategy. Mainly bring a better army that has more elite units rather than what I brought here. But it was enough to get the Romans alerted. And you know what? I see that Aulus Ostorius is now dead and buried, so good. Still, could have done a lot better there, but at the same time, I think we could have done far worse. I feel like my tactics were solid, if I'm going to brag, but the execution, just not there. Oh, great, the lovely noise is back as well. Brilliant! I just love this noise, don't you, everyone? Okay, right, take out Admiral Marcus, and everyone just put cotton buds in your ears or something. Oh, great, more defeats. And the noise is finally gone. But we are going to... Oh, Captain Hannibal's taken over. Right, Captain Hannibal, Hannibal, your way back to base. Or, you know what, just take out... Take out Captain Mastambal on your way. But that's, that's, that's for another day. Right now, we're going to call that a day. So, the Brutii I have responded by the way. They've got more reinforcements on their way. Luckily, it's a terrible army again. Uh, but, yeah. Some victories and some defeats there. Victory in that we're going to get Fapsis back. Defeat in that we kind of lost here, but... I'm not I'm not angry about that loss, to be honest. I thought I did okay. Anyway, one of the enemy armies routed, or at least I believe that the enemy army that routed was for one of those rebel scum. I'll deal with you next episode as well. But we also had a retinue expansion. Xenophan, to be honest, now has a decorated hero. And also a uh, nice little profit was turned today. Faction announcements include a... Oh dear, Admiral Kalilixus was assassinated. Where was that? He wasn't there. Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? 
No wait, because Lix no, Kayla's Karma. Where where the fuck was Lixus? He was in Cert Cert Oh you're kidding me. God bloody damn it. An assassin got in and ac and actually did his job. God, it's, it's like the one time an assassin actually worked. I'm blaming this on you, Burdishman. Maybe you should have bloody killed that assassin when you had a 62. Ah, uh, uh, my my spies and assassins do continue to let me down, and it is now working to my disadvantage. Adabul Namad, by the way, has a merchant. Right, we need to arrange a new governor in Serta ASAP. Who's volunteering? Well, I think one of you two is volunteering. Um. Xenophanes or Vettius? Vettius, you're volunteering. Right? Vettius, pick up some uh, Spanish mercenaries on your way by the way, some Bally Oak Slingers because they're always useful. Right. You, get your ass down to Café Nova. A boat will be waiting to pick you up. You are going to be governing Serta for a bit. Meanwhile, on our construction report, Palmer has an armorer, Corrales is uh, at archery range, and Serta, the new academy, is complete. Good. Maybe it'll recruit an assassin who does his job! Ugh, right, whatever. And also, recruitment report, Corduba has Sacred Band, Scalabis some skirmishes, Tinky some Sacred Band, Nabo Martis a new assassin, hopefully he will be useful, and then so on. You know what, I'm going to test you now, mate. You're going to have to prove your worth. As in, are you going to be useful, or is it just not worth having you? Because right now, the Julii are on their way, and I need to make sure we're, we're going to keep them back. And the 39 percent you are already making a bad impression, my friend. Let's see if you can make it worse. Oh, you have a gift that keeps on giving, aren't you? You really are. See, I knew I put my money in the right place when I bloody hired you. Someone put me in contact with, like, the black market so I can actually hire a, an assassin who knows which end of a sword goes in the neck of my enemies. But apart from that, I will see you all in the next episode, my friends, where we're going to have to try and salvage some of these losses, but at the same time, take advantage of some victories. See you there, my friends.